à tous de délai ou attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain, allumage AP, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. est nominale. And there, and there we, we go. We can, uh, we've seen the Ariane 5 liftoff roaring through the tropical sky, carrying juice. Well, there we are. We've seen uh, liftoff. So, uh, David Whitehouse, it has gone ahead uh, so far, so good. Uh, it was aborted yesterday. That was down to the weather, wasn't it? But uh, we have seen there uh, how it has uh, gone ahead at uh, 1.14. And this is Europe's, as we can see on screen there, Europe's first dedicated mission to Jupiter. And uh, we heard some words there. The countdown was in French. Uh, and that was because it has uh, taken off from uh, French Guiana. That's right, isn't it? How, how relevant is that to the these missions? Well, French, uh, the French were the main force behind Ariane Espace, and this is being launched on an Ariane 5 rocket. And it's best, if you can, to get a launch site near the Earth's equator, because you get the additional impetus to the rocket of the Earth's spin when you launch in an easterly direction. So that's why this is coming from French Guyana. And uh, it seems to be, so far, a few minutes in, a, a, a an excellent launch. It's going to be a busy couple of minutes because at 2 minutes 16 seconds into the flight, the main engine, um, the, no, the jet, the, um, the jet, the, the solid rocket boosters you see there has come off from the side. These provide most of the thrust for the first few minutes. Then less than a minute later, the fairing, which encloses the payload, the juice satellite, comes away. And then a few minutes after that, the, the um, main thrust of the rocket falls away and the second stage starts. So there are over the next 32 minutes several important points that have to work perfectly in order to get this this satellite in the right position. Now, as you saw, it disappeared into the clouds there. So there's no more visual sightings. And the next uh, visual sighting they will get will be from an onboard camera after all these events have happened, 32 minutes after the launch. So this is, this is the most critical part of the whole mission. We saw earlier this year a rocket launched from underneath a jumbo jet um, from Cornwall, which failed just a few minutes uh, before it was due to go into orbit. So there's always a tense time, but from what I can see on the other screen here, this is going according to plan at the moment. Well, that's highly encouraging, isn't it? Uh, Dr Whitehouse, thank you for now. Let's uh, talk to our science and technology editor, Tom Clark. And as uh, Dr Whitehouse was saying, Tom, it's always a very nervy, isn't it, the first few minutes of any launch? Absolutely. Uh, I'm here in the, uh, the lobby of Imperial College in London. It's a big crowd that had a sort of launch party here because Imperial have one of the instruments on the JUICE mission. So there's a lot riding on this for them. But of course, for the European Space Agency, there was a big cheer when the rocket took off. And as I can see, I'm looking past you at the screen behind me. Everything seems to be proceeding exactly according to plan. The fairings just separated. Uh, that first stage is making its way into uh, Earth's orbit. This is not the first, though, critical moment. There are several others to come up. It has to acquire a ground signal from a station in Australia. And then a really crucial moment for JUICE and for the success of its mission, its vast solar panels have to begin to unfold way out 600 million miles from Earth, where Jupiter is, sunlight levels are very, very low. It needs huge solar panels in order to do any of its scientific operations. So unfurling this big array of panels is another crucial step, not going to happen for another couple of hours. So we'll have to check back with us then to see how it's all proceeding. But for the time being, it's all looking good. A lot of very relieved people here behind me.
Indeed, Tom, so far so good. Fingers crossed uh, it has launched. It didn't yesterday, did it, because of the weather, but there it has uh, lifted off and we will follow its trajectory, trajectory as much as we can.